Today, I'm going to show you how you can go from this to this. <laughs> I know some of you have heard it several times that men can cook but today I'm going to show you that we can cook so if you are doubting your ability to cook you are in the right place if you're a man or a lady that wants to learn how to cook you're also in the right place and if you're already a good cook welcome you're in the right place because the comment section is there for you to share your experience with us so welcome to my cooking channel like father like son i'm your host vine i'm doing it for the first time i'm doing it for the first time so what i'm saying is it's never late for you to try something new so this is my first time of trying this particular meal and i'm encouraging you to do the same thing okay so let's learn it together let, let, let's 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 go together and if you've always believed that mentality that cooking is reserved for only women man you are wrong i'm here to prove you wrong so without much ado let's dive in into the kitchen see i'm not afraid to try something new in the kitchen i'm willing to learn so we we'll make mistakes we are not afraid to fail, but then we'll learn. So, let's go. Yeah. Meanwhile, today we are going to cook. Drum rolling. Egusi soup. Today is egusi soup. Egusi soup. Egusi, how often Nigeria? Often do you both? We use swallow, we use abu gari or something to eat it, okay? That's what we're going to cook today. It's uh, one of the, at least if you attend many Nigerian locations, somehow they must serve egusi soup. So today we're going to be cooking egusi soup. Today we're going to be cooking egusi soup. Sorry about the noise, um, they are having some repairs around my area. What can I do but I have to cook my soup? For my Ugusi soup, these are the ingredients I'm going to go and shop for. One is red oil and uh, crayfish. The Ugusi itself, you know, um, Ugu leaf, Akukwanre Ugu, that's what we call it in English. Okay. Then uh, protein. Uh, my protein I'm going to shop for fish, beef, intestine, you know, towel, I like all those things. But more, uh, that's kinda. I like all those things in my soup, so I'm going to shop there for them too. And uh, of course, Oburoko, sorry, that's stock fish, but we call it Oburoko, so I like to call it Oburoko. And uh, also the apple that I'm going to use to eat the Egusi soup. I mean, some people call it fufu, but we call it apu. No, you used to. Uh, don't worry. We're coming. Here's my meat um, because I, 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 li I like less of red meat, so the fewer red meat. You see, it's red meat. Then more of white meat. The intestine, shaki, um, liver, and co. So less of. More of white meat, then there's pomo, which I'm going to cut into pieces. So, this is my meat, and uh, my fish is too. Here are my fish. I have this fish, I have that fish, and I have a morocco to give me that Ibo, Ibo scent, you know, but it's delicious also in the meal. I know women, we love to eat meat, most especially. We love more of protein. Some of us love more fishes than meat itself. Some of us like more of the cow meat than you know goat meat and so on. So me, I love when I'm eating any soup. Um, there are obstacles. I'm eating something, not just the soup. I'm picking one meat or one fish or something to eat. So that's why you see me have more protein uh, for my meal. Well, everything here is uh, you know, things are really pretty expensive. The thing, the whole of this is is about three thousand. 
Then this one's about it's roughly the same amount, three thousand. I prefer to go to cold room to buy my meat. It's cheaper than everything is measured in kilograms. So next time I'll go to the cold room. For the egusi soup, I have my egusi here. It's already branded. I them to grind it from the to grind it in the market, and I have my red oil. Okay, so I'm going to wash my meat you know, just briefly because I've got them in the market, so I have to wash them, then cut the bone out to the size I want. So I'm going to wash them. Everything inside the pot. The red meat, the white meat, the dusty liver, and the bomb all of them are inside here. So I'm going to wash the obroko also, the stock fish, and put them inside the pot along the meat. That's how I'm doing now. And you know, everybody has its own rule. What I've not used about cooking is there is no perfect formula. It all depends on the taste of the food in your mouth. So I like to put everything, especially the things I feel might be strong. So I like to put everything inside the pot. That's it. inside the pot. So to release onions I'll slice some onions into it then add my spices that the salt my dish or some other spices depending on the taste you want you put any condiment you can put curry and thyme you know it all depends on you but I like my house Short and simple salt, onions, maggi is okay by me. So I'm going to add uh, this, uh, this I think, uh, garlic, garlic. I like to experiment. So this uh, maggi cube. Okay, just add two of it. So this uh, this time I'm going to put some time in it. You just have to know the quantity you have to put, so it won't be too correct. For my meals, I'm gonna put another spice, the local spice. So, we put it on fire. Let me turn the gas on first. Take it right off. Put it on fire. Now I need to wait for it to boil a little before I add water. So right. wait for it to boil. Um, somehow 
the meat contains some water on its own, so it will boil out those water. When the water boils, the level that I can add it. So listen, you hear it, that something is boiling inside the, thing. the water for the meat is boiling. To boil to a level, then I'll add little quantity of water. I'm going to add water now. Cover. Water and cover. So I like to just the fish and remove the bone. So it won't choke someone like it. In. So I remove the bone. So people like to eat the bone. Even though I like to eat the bone, but because I'm cooking it now, I like to remove it. So I remove all the bone so you can eat freely without getting choked. Our fish is ready, I've removed the bone. If you put it inside the pot now, it's going to be pieces. So I'll wait till when the food is almost when when the meat is almost properly boiled, then I just put it for a few seconds, a few minutes, then I bring it out. So the next batch of things to prepare is our dry fish or um, smoked fish. I'm going to pieces it and wash it too. Just like we did for the other one. So everything is ready. I've removed the bone, and uh, I don't want to pieces it so that it won't scatter inside the soup. Okay. So we do this a lot, man. When we are cooking, we are testing. We are cooking, we are testing. No? It's edible. No? So let's see our meat. How it's gone. So see it. I think the, the, the stock fish is soft now. Okay. There are no rules for me, okay? There are no rules, like I said. There are no rules. I've never put my ingredients on this only you know, feeling like the soup is ready. No, I've never put the ingredients on So, very good. So, it's... Okay, thank you. I'm getting it out. So, we're going to add palm oil all right on you. So, we're going to shake this. It will mix very well. Yeah. It will mix very well then add oil. So add our oil. So another thing that I'm going to add is thicker. This one is they call this one our fork. Is of I have a uh, day own here, okay. But the women in the market told me that the offer own is sweeter, so this is a four. This is also a four, but this is a day thickness. These are also thickness, okay. But for this, this is a good soup. I'm going to use a uh, I just like my soup to be thick a little, you know, I don't like it watery because I like them sticking together, you know, and full. So this is the chicken I I'm going to add it, okay? Yeah. Add it with the right oil. Yeah. I'm just cooking 
as it is in my brain. I don't know which one comes first. So I will say you have to add everything before I put the chicken oil. Oh, I'm not, oh, just following my, like I said, I've not done cook soup before, but I've seen my mom cook. I've seen some girls cook. So I'm going to put pepper. I like the way the soup is cooking, Daddy. So, I like the way it's cooking around. I want to put the baby soup. And then, Pour it inside the inside the soap, you know. Just pour it inside the soap and allow it to boil. Then we we'll stir. Okay, there's one more thing. Uh, you have to be careful. Uh, uh, this is where the goose get burnt, you know. But I don't know how to do it. Sure that it will not burn, but somehow the goose will definitely burn because you have to allow it to cook very well. If not, it will be tasting fresh. So, but it will get burned a little, to get burnt a little. So, but then, never mind, still part of the soup. After all, I eat it, I eat it in pieces. It does not you don't understand what I mean. The bottom of the pot tastes better because of that burnt, you know, aroma. So, I've added the goose, you see. Okay, so I'm going to allow it to cook. So, when it cooks and... Uh, at least for some minutes so the the pussy can be done it's still fresh before i add my vegetable and salt to taste and we are ready you can see like i said this is my first time but it's coming out good because i like my soup to be thick i don't like it watery so it's coming out nice okay so uh, Soup is done. Soup is done. So I'm going to just add small. Add salt. Then after which I'll put the vegetable. This is my uku. Uku is a thing the fruited pumpkin in English. So it's already cut like I, I always do. When I go to the market, I don't want wasting of time, so I ask them to cut it for me. So when I get some, I just prepare it once and for all. Then we are ready. Just so I've added our vegetables, so I'm just gonna. On it and allow it to simmer for a little after some time. I'm going to bring it down. So long time cook. I'm going to sprinkle some fish and pepper fruits. Just to give it that crayfish taste. Turn it off. And the lights. And our food is ready. Once you stir it, your food is done. Here we go. Our goosey is ready. It's 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 ready.
I'm going to dish our soup because it's ready for eating. Like I said, I like to eat. You can have eating. I have something inside it. So where is our fufu? Where is our ah? Uh, uh, ah? Uh, who gets excited when there is food? Are we ready to eat? Are we ready to eat? See it? You see it? You see it? Soft, soft, soft. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Alright, I hope you enjoy watching this video. You can subscribe to this channel, like and comment and share. This is just a learning process. I'm just doing this thing for the first time and I hope you enjoyed it. So go cook your own ebusi soup and let me have feedback on how it went. Okay, see you some other time. Thank you.